let me go one step further in this. Do you know what algorithms are? An algorithm is a uh, – it's used in software. It's, it's a process that takes place for a particular end result. Or in mathematics, there are algorithms. There are mathematical formulas that lead to uh, a final answer. Algorithm basically means the flow, the, the pattern that gets to a certain outcome. There is a, there is a God algorithm. Algorithms. Uh, they're so uh, – they're, they're not like digital algorithms or scientific algorithms or nature. Even nature has its patterns, its algorithms. Algorithms ultimately are based on belief systems. When you say, no, but it's mathematical, it's truth. But math is just a belief system. Or you say, well, no, it's digital and the algorithm to certain software has to be certain ways. No, it's still just a belief system. It's the flow of consciousness which attracts energies which bring some type of end result, some type of manifestation. So ultimately, every algorithm is the result of a belief system. There's a God algorithm right now on the planet. There is a flow, a process that takes place. It comes as a result of people's belief systems, creates certain patterns that wind up in certain uh, manifestations or creations. The, the uh, unrestricted, the free God algorithm is the very thing that uh, – you know how you say sometimes, ah, oh, the matter of circumstances where I'm, something happened, I met a person. The chances of that, the two of us meeting at this time, this place, with all the variables, are almost impossible, magical. No, it's actually a God algorithm that creates all the circumstances, even if it involves hundreds of other people, even if it's, it seems to be by chance. It's just a God algorithm. Sometimes what you would think to be very, very complex, because there's all these layers. All these things that are happening, all these potential chances and improbabilities and everything else, but in the God algorithm, the Theo algorithm, the, the uh, what I would say, the light algorithm, it's so easy. I mean, the human mind is baffling and overwhelming, but if I hadn't turned at a certain moment to hear a noise that uh, was suddenly there to see a person who just – I glanced at them just at the side, but it was somebody that I uh, had to meet because they were going to tell me about some new opportunity. If I hadn't – if that noise hadn't been there, and you're like, oh my God, life is so risky, and it's like, what, ha what if? In the God algorithm, it's no problem. It just flows. It just happens. It's just there. The algorithm basically comes from uh, passion and desire, and not, not human so much, but a deep inner passion that creates uh, what I'm going to call light, but not, not like these lights, a stream of light, basically kind of like a stream of consciousness, but not quite. But so let's just call it a stream of life, a radiance of consciousness that goes out. It attracts, basically in this reality, three different types of uh, energies – electric, magnetic, and something I call plunk. It's right up there. Nobody knows about it yet. Science doesn't know about it. But plunk is basically – it's a real word that we use. It's basically gravity. Uh, but in a kind of a different way than what you know gravity to be. But it has a tremendous influence on ultimate manifestation. 
there is gravity, as you know, because when you drop something on the floor, uh, it, it, when you drop it, it falls. There's also anti-gravity, the, the, kind of like the reverse of gravity. It's not that it sucks it up, <laughs> but it – the gravitational force uh, brings something or repels something. Gravity just isn't a physical phenomena. It is an emotional phenomena. There is gravity in your emotions. It's a phenomena of your passion, your desire as well. It attracts or repels things. So you put that in conjunction with magnetics and with uh, electronics, electric impulses. So you got this beam of light kind of like the stream of consciousness coming and picking up all these energies, negatively and positively charged in the form of electric, magnetic, and plunk, suddenly you have reality. Suddenly you have the algorithm of God. Suddenly you have manifestation. So now let me wrap this all up. It's time for a new consciousness of God on this planet, and many will resist it. You don't have to go out and evangelize to anybody. It's just realizing it for yourself, and it's out there. It's one of the biggest inhibitors of freedom on this planet. God, religion, very old, old concepts. Once you get free of some of these old concepts of God, once it becomes an experience, a freeing, liberating experience, you start to understand how this all works. Not from a biological, scientific, but from the God algorithm. And then suddenly you're in it. You're not outside of it. It's not a mystery how these things happen. You're no longer dealing with power, so you don't have to worry about blowing up the universe or hurting somebody else. You're suddenly realizing how everything comes together, and then you suddenly start realizing how you are the God algorithm, how you affect everything, how you create everything. So there's a lot to go through on a single day, and I would like to end this just with a short mirab. There's a lot of thoughts, a lot of wondering where we're going to go, what you're, what you're supposed to be understanding, what you're supposed to get. Just stop a minute. Just stop a minute. It's just about being the experience of God, of Spirit, rather than having it as this vague mystery out there.